Hey, Kevin here. I've got your Revel back. So I'm going to go through this a little bit more. The engine's on. I opened the uh, engine compartment so you can see. We do the oil and filter on the engine and generator. This little step up here. That's how you get up and grab the um, top of the hood to get up there with a squeegee and clean the window. That step is for that purpose. This coach has these cool tires on it and these are not the original tires. These tires look fairly new and the date code is from the 20 or the 12th week of 2019 is when they were produced. So they were probably put on like last year and they're all-terrain tires. And those are the um, custom method rims that come with the coach. And all under here looks fantastically clean, um, which is amazing. I mean, we haven't even cleaned the coach ourselves yet. So, I know you're excited to look at stuff like that. Let's take a look around here. Is all the paperwork that came with the coach, probably the manuals, yeah. Owner's manuals. Operator's manual, cool. It has the big screen, which is navigation, I would think backup camera, everything on there. Go around the side. There's an outdoor shower, there's the, um, the, the nozzle for the outdoor shower, which connects over here. You can also turn on the water pump as well. These bamboo things, I think they go on the base of the shower. At least I know the smaller one does. These other ones, I'm really not sure yet why they are here. There's three. It might actually be for the... I don't know. I know that Winnebago sells all this bamboo stuff that people use and you can get extra bamboo stuff, but I don't know exactly where that goes. There's three of them and they're they're all about that size. They're stacked up one on top of another. But if I figure it out, I'll let you know. There's these tie downs, which are cool. This probably goes in the fridge. There's all these are folded up covers for the front and back windows. So there's got all the, you know, you can have privacy basically. Let's see, these doors, they actually go all the way back, which is kind of cool. So you just slide it back in here, it goes through this hole. So if you just pull regular, it locks. But if you pull away from here, as you're opening it, it will come out and will allow the doors to go all the way back around. And then there's a magnet now there's a backup camera up there. There's a magnet here that connects with here so that it stays in position. The side with the ladder will not, the magnet won't touch until the ladder is taken off because it's in the way. But there you go, you got your backup ladder. There's a thing back here. I don't know if the customer added this or it came with it, but that's a you open that up and the sewer hose slides in there. So you don't have to have a special, you know, that's like the special place where the sewer hose would go, which is good. You don't want to have to put the sewer hose in a bag inside the coach with you. You want to have it, have its own housing, which is cool. Okay. There's the, um, the cassette. That's where you, empty everything out and it's actually quite sanitary the way that it works because it doesn't you put some chemical in there and it causes everything to kind of break down and removes the odors and stuff and basically it won't even release until you press this button and it, it kind of allows the pressure to release from the the cassette and then you can empty it anywhere toilet I mean, really, it's very, very easy to deal with. You don't have to find a sewer dump, you know, to, to use that to get rid of it. So the actual sewer hose that I mentioned before goes in the back. 
It actually is only used to empty the gray water, which is here. So it really doesn't touch the worst stuff anyway, but it does have its own place that it lives. There's a nice step they give you, and there's an exhaust for the generator sticking out of it. This is how you fill the coach or connect it to connect the water to it if you're camping somewhere where you have uh, hookups. This is where you plug in. We give you all the stuff that goes with this. It's probably in that other box in the back of the vehicle, all the gear that came with it, and if something's not there, we provide it. So I noticed that the awning is missing something, a cover piece, so they'd replace that. I just noticed that right now. So it's, it's like a, the, the cover for the awning is has come off. It's just a piece that snaps in there, and so they, they would order that. I think it's a carefree brand awning. Yes, it is. Zoom in on that. So say carefree over here at the end and that's the cover piece that's missing so we wouldn't expect you to pick it up without a piece of the awning there's a table outside this is the sound i heard a few seconds ago because i had it in position hopefully that could show it to you so this locks in a place here and here and a table leg which is somewhere in there screws in to the base and then you can have a table kind of seating out here so you have a table to sit at. You can put a chair on each side of it to eat or use it for whatever. It's also another way to fill your tank on this side. Another connector for the uh, outside shower if you want to use it over here. Drain fresh water. This is for winterizing your coach, which means you're going to be keeping it in cold weather. You don't want it to freeze. So you pour some sort of fluid in there. It's almost like an antifreeze. And it won't allow your tanks to freeze if you're storing your vehicle when it gets below zero. Here's another cool table um, or thing for like a workstation or, I mean, I think, I don't have it strong enough to sit on. It looks like it might be, but this comes up out of the way when it's, you don't need to use it at all. And it stores right here. So you lock that into place. And then pull this down. And now, this is typically how you see it when you're entering the vehicle. Got a furnace vent down here. And this is a way to fill your tank, your coach up also without connecting to anything. You just stick the hose inside of here. It's called, we call it gravity fill. And that way, if you're like at home, want to fill up real quick or give yourself some water to um, keep the tanks half full or full before you leave somewhere, you just stick the hose right in there we actually give you a adapter to fit on the end of your hose so it fits in there easily and basically just an easy way to fill your fill your stuff up so coach battery on awning light floor on these things is pretty cool there's all the fuses down here in the breaker box there's a handle to get in if you need help place to hang your keys or whatever up here leashes the sink moves out of the way for you so you can use it as just a tabletop this is an induction cooktop you have to use a stainless steel bottom uh, magnetic bottom uh, pan that's what activates it so apparently when you turn this on it doesn't matter if it's on or not it won't get hot you can actually touch it when it's on if this if the magnetic pan is not on there it won't activate and apparently as soon as you remove the pan the heat instantly goes away now i don't want to test that out myself but i hear that's how it works i'll just take their word for it there's all these kind of hooks up here to do that do different things they grab onto different things and there's other things you can buy to, to get more attachments i think that's something Winnebago has been using for a while. They might even have some stuff on their website. There's a place to plug your phones into charge. You can set them up here or spice rack. Cool kind of lights they use in these things. Kind of feels like you're in an airplane a little bit. This is the bed lift, different lighting. There's an inverter. So with the inverter on, it allows things to work. That you so except for the air conditioner, it does allow like probably a plug or two, 
if you need things to be active without having the generator running or not if you're not plugged in to actual power that's kind of useful that's what inverters are for gives you some power gives you 110 power converted to 12 volt power so you can run it through the batteries so you don't have to run your generator for like a simple thing like maybe making a pot of coffee for example Let's see, this is the furnace control, that's a solar panel, a uh, solar controller, so you can see how it's charging 13.9, that's kind of where you want it. This is the water pump access, tank levels, fresh gray, the black tank, it's not going to show because that's the cassette. The batteries are fully charged, but we do check all these things regardless. There's a remote control for this attic fan up here. Has lots of little readings on it set it to come on based on temperature, different fan speeds, etc. A lot of motor rooms have that. There's another one of these little contraptions over here. This must be to hang something, I'm just not sure. Another plug-in for your phone. These are awesome windows. They're dual pane acrylic windows. They are three times better than regular glass when it comes to keeping heat out. I've been in a situation where the sun is beating down on a regular eighth of an inch glass windows and these things uh yeah i've had the same thing with sitting inside one of these um against one of these one of, one of these windows and it's just amazing how much it keeps the heat out so they're kind of like safari windows they'll go out and you'll hear a click mm -hmm. oh there it goes and just you can open it up all the way basically i mean it's pretty amazing and then if you don't want bugs come in you can have the screen down or you got blackout and that's the design, it's not stains on that. I believe that's just their rugged design of the, the blinds. So this table obviously pops up here or really nice that it goes out of the way because most people don't really want a little table here, but if you needed one to eat on or something or do some work, another little attachment thing on the end to add things to your table. I guess it, or did it, I guess to set something up over here. I don't know exactly what, but that does move around. I'm sure you can find lots of uses for it. I like that this doesn't have this shelving here. A lot of them have this shelf here and it's really hard to get in and out of the seat, but this makes it a lot easier for somebody to get back and forth. Okay, so these seats both swivel. All you do is you just turn, push this in and it'll start moving. But it's hard to do with one hand. Lumbar control. Pretty much all standard. Mercedes are all pretty much built the same. The navigation, let's see here. There you go, there's nav navigation, little big screen, map. It's actually made for RVs, so you can plug in the size of your RV. Obviously, this is a very small one, but um, it's just, that's the, that's the um, I think it might be Rand McNally software that Winnebago uses. But yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff, all the details of your what kind of motorhome, what size, so it doesn't take you on roads you're not supposed to be on. Start looking at some of these compartments. Everything looks nice and clean. Like I so said, we haven't even cleaned it yet, but this is a coach that's in good shape. The Know what that's for oh no still don't know but we'll, we'll figure that out and explain it to you when you pick it up there's these nice drawers here they're not some of them are a little shallower than others there's the table leg that goes to the outside table another one up here Take a look at the bathroom. So it releases up here. Not bad size, I mean, from what I was expecting. You see, you have a rack up here if you want, and it'll come out if you want to not have it in here, but that'll you can hang clothes on. This is where the shower connects. Place to hang something here. Uh, but there's more room than I thought there'd be inside here. I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but. There's a place to store stuff. Toll papers under here so it doesn't even get wet. Another little hook. So, 
this is another storage compartment, kind of pantry, I guess. Very cool. I don't think this one opens. I think maybe it does to access something that, that you don't normally need to get to, but if you needed to change like a water pump or something. These go on the back windows here. Like I said, the other, the other um, window coverings are down below that are for the front windows and the windshield. So this one has a little thing on it too. So you still can keep the wind. You can still pop that open as well. It's the same dual. There's a light switch. There's two levels. Oh, there's another ceiling light too. More phone plugs. 12 volt plug-in. It's a pretty nice um, feeling mattress. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now. These snap on to the back there. Over here, this is where a fire alarm will go. We always put a new fire alarm in. It's kind of one of our protocols. So this button I'm pushing allows the bed to go up and down out of the way. Maybe those bamboo things, you position them across the back of the floor for like kind of like a luggage rack or something. So things don't slide around, I'm not sure. But you have quite a bit of space down here and even below when the bed's all the way down. So that's pretty cool. More of these guys here. So it's really just a lot of different ways to attach stuff and figure out how you want to use your motorhome. Yeah, this, oh, there's another, no, that's it. That's about all back here. I love that there's a rooftop air conditioner, so you can have it right down on you in the bedroom area. I mean, I really think that's about it. If you think of anything else, let me know. There's airbags up here and in front. So there's, I think, two airbags on each side. This is a paper clip. Or like a mat holder or something. I mean, if you want to clip something under there, it holds it. Lock, unlock, defrost, air conditioning. This is um, here. It's a cigarette for your for your cigarettes and your ashes. You can go there. You even have a cigarette lighter. I know you're excited about that. This goes in like that, or it comes out adjustable to hold different size containers, and then it slides back out of the way. And you can also plug your phone in here and here. Uh, as well. Leave that for now. Glove compartment. But yeah, anything else? Please let me know if I'm missing anything or you have other questions. I love how the kitchen is over here. So when you're out, you know, making stuff, this also just comes up just like that. So you can extend your countertop. But I really like how you're looking out this way. And kind of to your campsite area when you're hanging out in the morning or whatever making breakfast so if i think of anything else or you do please let me know and uh talk to you guys talk to you soon that's all that that concludes this episode <laughs>